Howdy ho friends, it's Michelle with another weekly meltdown to share with you and this week we are talking retail and vendor wax, um, wax melts and candles and this actually covers the week that I was on vacation in Orlando and I did a haul video about a new company that I found at Disney Springs. I did not realize it when I recorded that video, so I had added it in the description box, but the company, Bose Signature Candles, I found some new favorites there, and of course melted some wax. We'll get into that in a second, but I went to their Instagram after I recorded that haul video, and their grand opening was not until November 17th. So it didn't even, wasn't officially open when we were there. Um, but there were no indication that it was, you know, a soft opening or anything like that. The people that worked there were very helpful in, you know, telling you where kind of each scent was from at the parks. Anyway, I got three of the Clover World, which is like clover, aloe, and jasmine type scent notes. It's not super green. It's not super floral. It is a beautiful combination of, of those scent notes. And I think it has even like a little bit of cedar wood or something. It's beautiful. It's fresh. Um, they said it's their most popular scent. They are online. I'm a don't have an affiliate code or anything, but, um, but think about it. I'll leave a <clears throat> link in the description box below, but I love this scent. However, pricing <laughs> is $12 for a clam unless this was in store. If you buy two or more, you get them for $10. I want to say online, they might even be $14. Anyway, it's outrageous pricing. So I have found another company that I think does the same type of thing and have a haul coming from them. So stay tuned for that haul. Um, yeah, anyway, love this scent, Clover World. If you happen to be in Disney Springs, it is closer to the end uh, where the Cirque du Soleil uh, Theater or whatever you want to call it is. It's on that end of Disney Springs. So to me, the other end is, you know, more popular and crowded <laughs> so people may not make it to the other side anyway that's the only one that I melted um, that's all I melted that week while we were on vacation actually the rest of this uh, was either kind of a little bit before or after next is super tarts Eden and this is pomegranate apple cider and toasted marshmallow love this scent I tried to do a dupe with uh, K-scented melts. Um, I'm going to make some adjustments after I finish what I have and see if I can do a little better. To me, this is about half apple cider pomegranate and half toasted marshmallow. You get quite a bit of sweetness and a little bit of that toasted note with a super sweet pomegranate. Um, and a little bit of spice from the cider. Love it. I kind of, kind of don't want to use the last few bam chunks here because I just don't know if I'll be ordering from Super Tarts again. It just, I'm still waiting on my Chris melts that I don't even know how long ago I ordered it, but it, to me it's been a while. Um, you know how time is though. Who knows? Anyway. I think it's going to be harder to get super tart. So I may or may not order more. So I kind of want to hang on to those. But I know. Enjoy what you have. I will eventually. Okay. <laughs> L3 Waxy Wonders. Seattle Rain. Rainstorm. Cashmere. Cedar. Hint of Leaves. And this was, I think, in a bougie bar, if I'm not mistaken. And I... This had a bit of the cedar cashmere cedar it's a nice fresh kind of uh dewy type scent but warm that cedar came out more to me cashmere cedar um so i don't think i will repurchase this i think i already 
have, though, before I even melted it, I think I have another bougie bar, at least, of that. So, okay. Uh, two other, whoops, out of order here. Two more super tarts. I melted some. So this used to be called Emmet. It is now called Pine Berries. And you can see it's in a bakery bag, but these were clams. Um, you can see the label in there. They, the clams were nasty. I don't know where she was getting them from, but they just got worse and worse as far as the plastic smell. So I took it, all the clam, the wax out of clams and bagged them separate. Anyway, strawberry juice and woodsy pine. I don't know if it's the clams, but, or the age of the wax maybe at this point, like I said, two, three years probably for this one as well. But it comes off a little artificial, um, waxy almost, strawberry. So, yeah, I will probably, um, maybe at the beginning of the year, kind of before I get into the spring, summer type melts, I may just dump all this into an empty candle jar and put it in a candle crock to use what's left um, out of this. And I think I have a band bag as well. And then I have... Blending donut. Oh, I meant to grab. I still have another one of these, but she used to do these things called blending donuts, and it was like a one oil bar. That way you could kind of cut it up and add it to other scents that you just wanted to add rain or whatever scent note to. And I love, love, love her rain. It's fresh. <sighs> A little perfumey but not floral so I guess maybe it's a little more musk sided than floral I love it though what I did was put it in an empty candle uh, in an empty candle jar into a crock just melted the whole thing again because these are getting old so I feel like they're losing their strength and you know I want to use this super tarts up okay we have a few uh, from Kringle Ooh, <laughs> just hopped out of my hand. Two bars of lemon lavender from Kringle. Love this scent. Um, Kringle and Yankee are really good. Uh, it's lemon lavender. Let's see. Uh, citrus, fresh, fruity, lemon, floral, lavender, sweet, woodsy. I don't know, I guess. I don't like all lemon lavender uh, scent in different brands, but I would say Yankee and Kringle are my favorite in for lemon lavender. Just the perfect combination. Not super floral or herbal or tart or, you know, it's just perfectly balanced. And Kringle Candle French Lavender. This is lavender, citrus, herbaceous, and eucalyptus. And I swear I smell pine in this. I'm not against it, but warming especially, I smell pine. It's probably the eucalyptus or maybe the herba herbaceous that's listed in the notes is pine. Anyway, I like it. I don't know that it really fits the name as French lavender, but I like it. And also Kringle Sweet Stuff. I got this because Mr. Kong's mom, Melanie, uh, raves about it. It says orange apple, rose, muguet, uh, jasmine, solar, sweet coconut, amber, sandalwood, taco bean, oriental. Anyway, this is supposed to be a dupe of Sol de Janeiro boom boom cream or something like that yeah it kind of doesn't fit what's here it's musky and sweet uh yeah it's nice i don't think i will buy more i will mention though kringle already has a black friday sale going on i think there's buy three get three on maybe the large candles only some wax melts are reduced you know go check it out if you're interested and I have a few things from K-Scented Wax Melts. 
Snowflakes and Cashmere. This is a Bath and Body Works type. Cashmere Cream, Clementine, White Tea, Amber, and Caramel. This is a pretty scent, too. It's sweet and kind of perfumey. I don't know. It's, it's not like you smell caramel, though. It just adds some sweetness, I think, and depth. Um, I finished Kevin. This is Sugar Cookie Crunch, Macintosh Apple, and Jack Frost. And in case you didn't know, like myself, Jack Frost is peppermint. It has peppermint in it. Um, use this again. When I was getting a headache, I understand peppermint's supposed to be good for when you have headaches, migraines, that type of thing. And I think with the weather... The last month or so, I've been getting some migraines again. I thought I was done with those, but apparently not. Anyway, so I warmed that, and did it help? Who knows? I don't know, but uh, yeah, it was peppermint. We'll just say that. Smell of Weather Turning. This is a Lush type, also from K. Oak Moss, Chamomile, Cinnamon, and Mint. So this one, it's not like the cinnamon is an edible type cinnamon the oak moss I think in here makes it masculine and green not like aloe green but like mossy green and I just did not like the cinnamon in that one next this is a huge hit with me I will be buying a lot more of this it lasted a very long time. Granted, the warmer that it was in is not on a timer or a smart plug, so it didn't come on every time my other warmers were on. But, man, I didn't even want to take this out. And it had been in there over a week. And I melt... Well, they come on at least probably six hours a day. And the one that I left even beyond the other warmers was in there another week. <laughs> anyway, Mega Pint. I had to get it because of, you know, the whole Mega Pint comment from the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. But uh, it is Blackberry Bordeaux, Beach Nights, and Cherry Slushy. And wow, I love this. This is, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's kind of dark. I love it. <laughs> I'm getting more. And I think that would be a good um, blender as well for me when I'm doing maybe my dupe or similar thing to the Eden Super Tarts that I was talking about. It's kind of got that base almost. Anyway. Moving on. Shuffle things around. I think all we have left are candles. A few Bath and Body Works candles. Pineapple, mango, and fresh balsam. This is one of their mashup blends or whatever you want to call it. Woodland balsam, fir branches, fresh pineapple juice, and mango. And it was in my candle crock. As you can see, those wicks are on the outside. And... If you're new here, I do not burn candles. They go under a candle lamp or a candle crock. Multiple reasons. Mainly for me, I get this kerosene note with any candle if it's lit. I also have a tendency to forget when I leave the house and leave a candle lit. So, you know. Um, but, yeah. So, these go in a can this was in a candle crock. So, it melted the entire thing. <laughs> And I get asked quite often how long they last. And it really depends on the scent. I mean, kind of like anything else when you burn something or put it in a warmer or whatever. It depends. Um, I The shortest amount of time for a whole candle in a crock that I've smelled, which were super weak candles to begin with, a couple days. And that's leaving it on 24 hours a day. Um... The longest is like three, four weeks, and that's the lakeside morning 
candle from Bath and Body Works. I mean, multiple weeks, and that's on 24-7 also. Anyway, so pineapple, mango, and fresh balls. It's exactly what it says, but I know you may think, ugh, but I really liked the blend. You kind of had a little bit of Christmas with a little bit of summer, <laughs> and it's a, I like it. That was actually my second purchase. I think it came out last year for the first time, and I got one, really liked it, and didn't have any more, so I bought, I think, four when it came out this summer. Next is Cypress and Amber from Bath and Body Works, and this is Dark Cypress Smoked Amber and Fresh Bergamot. And, yeah, I've had this one a little bit longer, I think. Uh, yeah, this was poured, like, mid-last year. I was kind of waiting until it was a little cooler, because to me, it's kind of one of those warm, cozy scents. And I can barely even smell it in the lid. Usually, also in the crock. <laughs> You know, sea wicks and that. Uh, usually, you can still smell it in the lid. I can barely smell it there. But it was a nice, warm, cozy, slightly masculine, a little bit. Worth a shot, I think, if you see that scent. And then Radiant Red Maple. I think this is the last one that I have of this. I got, did I get four? When it came back, because, you know, some YouTubers were talking about how great it is. It is Macintosh Apple Smoky Woods Hint of Toasted Marshmallow. So, I don't know. I, I haven't seen the other reviews of this scent, but these did not go together to my nose. Um, I get a lot of sweetness, almost like a maple. Yeah, kind of like a maple syrup is added to it uh yeah anyway would not repurchase this one it was supposed to be really good and it sounds like it would be good it's just not a good execution for my nose on that okay that wraps it up for another week of melt meltdown <laughs> um next week we will be talking scentsy i still have several several hauls um I just got my Teddy B's haul in, but I may actually, she has an RTS ready to ship sale, I think, going up Saturday. So I may hold off on recording, doing a video on Teddy B's in case I order something for that, and then I can just put them, have it together. I do still have an L3 and a Rose Girls haul that I need to share, um, need to film for the first of all. But anyway, so be on the lookout for those and I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.